Hey HBIC, it's me, Katie Boyd, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for a really long time and I've used it for things other than being here and being present. I actually have been using it for a really long time to store videos for education that I use to teach on my ambitious app on Mighty Networks. And that is where I have a community of like-minded, incredible women from all across the globe who go there every day to have victory spoken into them, to be educated, empowered, and entertained with what we call living an ambitious lifestyle. So I wanted to come on here to do truly my real first debut video on YouTube. And my promise here for each and every one of you, if you hit the subscribe button, is to come on here and really be raw and real and share all of my knowledge and years of education and empowerment and motivation and inspiration in the wellness and health industry. And that has more to do with just physical wellness. It has to do with mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic wellness as well. But I wanted to come on here today and speak about my personal journey so that you get a taste and an understanding of where I came from and who I am today and my evolution. So when I say certain things and I do certain things here on my channel, you get it. So I want to first start off by saying I have recently come out of what we call in the spiritual world, the dark night of the soul. And I feel that all spiritual beings have multiple dark nights of the soul. And it's a place where we start to just wake up in the morning and go like, what am I doing? Like, am I even happy doing this? Like, I feel like a robot or I just feel soulless and nothing that I used to love really gets me going anymore. And the things that used to turn me on don't turn me on anymore. And that could be a really scary place for a lot of people if they don't have the spiritual tools and the community and the knowledge and the education to get through something like this. So I went through this really weird thing. Um, I'm a healer. I'm a, a speaker. I'm a podcaster. I'm an author and I'm a coach and I'm a mentor. And back in the summer of 2022, I was at my wellness center, Katie Boyd's Misfit Club. And I had this really strange thing happen to me in a healing session. I'm going to get into the actual strange thing in another video because I don't feel like it really pertains to what we're talking about. But I want to give you a sense of why I have come to this place in my life. So I had this really strange thing happen to me in a healing session. And from this healing session, I experienced immense pain in my chest and in my stomach where I literally thought I was having a heart attack. And at this time, I was 41 years old. I'm in pretty great shape. I take really good care of myself. And I was like, where is this coming from? So because I'm a healer and because my background is in nutrition and exercise science, and I've been doing this for 20 plus years, I'm like, I can heal this on my own. No problem. Just this must be some indigestion. And for almost six months, I did everything that I knew to fix this problem. I mean, apple cider vinegar, fasting, eating very low carbohydrates, not having any sugar. Like I did all this crazy stuff and it was not getting better. And so because my husband's in the medical field, he's like, listen, there's a place for, you know, all the woo woo stuff. He goes, but there's also a place for westernized medicine, because if something is really wrong with you, we need to get to the bottom of it and we need to figure this out. So he got me in to see a cardiologist and the cardiologist was like, you have uh, an, a small issue with your heart. It's a uh, right branch bundle block. It's nothing to really be afraid of. Um, but I was just like, okay, I whoop did he do? I have this little thing in my heart. It's not a big deal. I could have had it my whole entire life and not ever had any problems. But I said, There's, it's not my heart. It's something deeper than this. So the cardiologist suggested that I would see a gastroenterologist. I went to the gastroenterologist. I told him all of my symptoms. And pretty much what he said to me is, okay, we're going to do an upper endoscopy. We're going to figure out what's going on. And we're going to 
just go from there. So I went and had the upper endoscopy. I was diagnosed with severe GERD. Um, so like really bad acid reflux and gastritis. And they put me on a 40 milligram dose every day of omeprazole. And if you guys know me, which some of you don't yet, and I'm hoping that you get to know me, but if most of you who have followed me for a really long time through my television show on um, E! Style and Bravo called Wicked Fit, or they've just been following me for the last 20 plus years in the wellness industry, you guys know that I don't like to take medicine. I don't take any medicine. And I won't even take at like Advil, okay? That's just, that's just who I am. And I'm like, there's other ways that we can get through the pain. I'm gonna do my breathing exercise. I'm gonna do my yoga. I'm gonna meditate. Um, I'm going to, you know, take my supplements. And I've never had a real health problem like this until recently. And so I, I was like, okay, I'm just gonna take the medicine. And I've been on the medicine for, at this time, I'm uh, actually recording this on March 21st, 2023. So I've been on this medicine for about three months. Now, has this medicine made me feel like an absolute gangster? Absolutely. I have no pain. All of the pain in my stomach and my chest is totally gone. I am back to my normal, fun, bubbly, ambitious self but I don't want to be on this medication because the long-term side effects of what I have done my research on, it ain't for me, okay? So my plan of action is to be totally off this medication in the next few months, and I am going to do that, and I am going to prove that what I know is true works, and I know for a fact that looking back on this time in my life where I was really struggling and just in a very bad depression and just feeling like my body was betraying me and just feeling like a dumbass because I'm like, you know, Katie, you've been doing this for 20 plus years. Like, you know what you're doing as far as healing goes. Why can't you heal yourself? And that is why I'm here today. And so I want to just give you a little bit of background and I and I won't draw it out too long but I want to give you guys a little bit of a background of like where I came from. So I grew up doing pageants since I was really really young and in the early late 90s early 2000s I was deeply entrenched in the pageant industry. I was, you know, I had coaches, I was very competitive and I got hooked up with a bodybuilder who was a coach and he put me on this very hardcore like bodybuilding diet where I was, you know, eating six, seven meals a day. I was weighing all my food. You know, I was eating the oatmeal and the brown rice and the sweet potato for carbs. And I was doing protein shakes with bananas and strawberries and spinach and whey protein. And I was eating, you know, like my egg whites and my chicken breast and my white fish, and it was weighing it all out, and there was no butter, and there was no fat, because all I would do was use Pam to make my pans not stick, and I would use, I can't believe it's not butter spray. Do you remember this? Fabio used to like have a little spray bottle, and I would literally like, blah, blah, blah. I would like deep throat this stuff. And I did that for a really long time. I've done podcasts about this. I talk about this very explicitly and raw on my app. I talk very much about my disordered eating, uh, on my podcast and in my book, Ambitious, and on my app. But I'm here to kind of just give you the background of like where I came from. So I grew up in that world. Then from there, I really developed disordered eating where I was binging and purging. I was starving myself. I was orthorexic. I was anorexic. I was bulimic. I was all the things. And all I cared about was the way I looked. Like that is it. That is all I cared about. I, it, was, it was my obsession. Because where I came from, you would get validated and loved if you were beautiful and your body was amazing. And I will do other YouTube videos about this because I think it's just a, such an important thing, especially for young women, um, to really get this through their thick skulls before they get to my age and they're like totally ruined their bodies and they've ruined their mindsets and, and just their courage and bravery through all this disordered eating. But I really went into this dark place. And I was pretty much like this until I would say 2010, 2011. And that's when I did my television show and I met my husband 
and I really got into mindset coaching and I really got into like the spiritual aspects. So I started to realize like, this is just like a meat puppet. None of it really matters. Yes. Keep yourself healthy. You want to you know, treat your body like a temple and not a trash can. But, you know, it doesn't matter if you have a six pack the whole year, you know, like it doesn't matter what your abs look like or your ass looks like or your arms when you go to the club. Cause you know, I was 30 years old at the time and it was like, it's time to retire my pleather pants, you know, and my platform shoes and like do something else. So I really stepped away from that. I really went head first into my spiritual awakening. It was such an amazing etheric and wonderful time when you're going through your first spiritual awakening and everything is just rainbows and unicorns and you almost feel like Dorothy when she um, came from Kansas and it was like black and white and drab and then like all of a sudden you go you have the spiritual awakening and you're like oh my god it's Technicolor and the Lollipop Guild is gonna come dance for me and the Mayor of Munchkin City is gonna come sing and you're just like yes this is the best thing ever and then <laughs> I was so deeply entrenched in being on the other side of the modeling and pageant world where I was coaching these girls. And I woke up one day and I was like, I can't do this. I cannot perpetuate this cycle of unhealthiness and just unhappiness and three-dimensional reality where it's like we all just care about what our bodies look like and we don't care about how we feel. We don't care about our desires, our goals, our dreams, our aspirations, our spiritual connection with God. We don't care about any of these things. We just care about having a big butt and a six pack and good tits. And it's just like, that is not what life's all about. So I really pulled myself out of that world. I had a lot of awakenings. That's just saying the absolute least. And I want to fast forward now to January, February of 2020, where I was podcasting like a maniac. I was getting so much traction. I just had finished writing my book, Ambitious. We were about to go on a world tour. I had a um, really famous photographer and makeup artist come to my wellness center in Hudson, New Hampshire. And we did the photo shoot for the, the cover of my book. And we were like, yes, this is going to change the world. And then boom, global pandemic. And it's crazy because I really pride myself on being brave and courageous and pulling myself up by my bootstraps and all that toxic shit that you learn from being like the child of family of immigrants, right? People from other countries that are just like, we are so lucky to be in America. Just shut your freaking mouth and do the work. And what happened to me is when the rug got pulled out from all of us, underneath all of us, I really went into like chaos mode where I was like, I am going to control the chaos. I am going to make myself and my family feel safe. And I went into like, okay, we have to, it's crisis mode, right? So we have to save our businesses. We have to save our physical selves. None of us knew what the hell was going on. So every day we were just being bombarded by all this crazy new information about what to do and what not to do and how to show up and how to be and all this stuff. And when I was in like lockdown, I thought in my head I was thriving. Like I was living my best life. I was healed. I was living life ambitiously. And I look back at pictures of myself during the pandemic when we were on, we, when we were really in lockdown and I was scared as shit. Um, all of my old triggers of fear and lack and scarcity all came bubbling back up to the surface. And I was like, I am going to make a garden and I am going to be the, I called myself the homestead and hoe. And I was like, I'm homesteading, I'm gardening. And I thought like we were being healthy. So I, every day I was like, we're eating kale, we're eating Swiss chard, we're eating fresh tomatoes. I'm eating, I have a raspberry bush. We're having, you know, um, beans and squash and zucchini and all, like, all this crazy stuff. And I was just thought I was just living my best life and I was, you know, eating and I was fasting, but then I was also scared shit. So I was drinking a lot. And one day I woke up and I didn't recognize myself who I was looking back at the mirror. I had gained like 40 pounds during the pandemic. Um, my business was thriving. I don't even know how, but my business was thriving. 
Um, my husband's business was thriving. From the outside looking in, we looked like we were living really well, but I had never been more scared, more lost, more angry, more unhealed, more triggered, <laughs> more sad, more anxious, more depressed than I had ever been in my entire life. And during this time, I had created a program, which is now lovingly called H2HP, which is Ambitious 28-Day Protocol. And I'm going to talk to you guys about the protocol because I am going to be doing this protocol this month on myself. And I want you all to come on the journey with me to prove to you that I actually know what the hell I'm doing. And if I just would let this fear and the scarcity and the not enoughness and the unworthiness just fall away, the things that I talk to all of my clients about every day and just step into my power and follow my own GD advice that I will be the HBIC of my magical life, my one precious human life. So I want you guys to come on this journey with me. I want you to listen to what I'm going to be doing in the next 28 days. And I want your feedback. I want to empower you. I want to inspire you. I want to motivate you. And I also want to bring you on a magic carpet ride in my life. And I want to be just open and vulnerable and raw and real. And I want you just to know that no matter where you are in your life, if you're not feeling so fresh, that it's okay. That there are people out there that will support you and love you. And there are are amazing, incredible programs and education out there so that you can change your life and take your life to the absolute next level. And I'm going to be here sharing that with you. And I'm not a YouTuber. I'm not a fancy schmancy editing type person. So I am just going to be filming and I am hiring an editor, a film editor to do my YouTube videos that are like more complicated and have like before and after pictures and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned but I'm just laying the foundation for each and every one of you today. And um, hopefully you'll come on the journey with me and it will uh, motivate you and educate you and inspire you to think outside the box and think in a different way to not only heal your physical self, but heal your mental, emotional, spiritual, and energetic self, which is just, in my opinion, as important. And you're going to deepen your relationship with God and the divine, and you're going to have fierce boundaries, and you're going to have even keel emotions, and you're going to have optimal health and wellness, and you're going to have amazing relationships and ambituals, like our everyday rituals, and you're going to have a beautiful home and a beautiful environment. And in the end, if this is something that you do desire, you're going to be able to have financial freedom because I believe that all financial freedom and growth is based on your connection with the divine, your health and wellness, your boundaries, your healthy relationships, and how you show up in the world, and then the money will come. Everyone that comes to coach with me is always like, how do I make the money you make? And I'm like, first, let's figure out all these other things, and then you can start really focusing on the actual money. And that's how I speak on my podcast, that's how I speak in my ambitious app on Mighty Networks, and that's how I wrote my book. Okay, so A to 8P, what is it? It's a 28-day protocol, and we focus on intermittent and extended, short extended fasts, so like 48 hours and 24-hour fasts. Um, we also focus on taking all the foods out of your diet that are inflammatory, and we focus on movement and daily spiritual practices like breath work and sound healing and yoga and meditations and shadow work and journaling. And this program is already in my app and it's part of my app experience and it's changed the lives of thousands of women. And I have not done it properly. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. I have not done a proper round of A28P since right before the pandemic. And that is why I feel just so out of shape and flabby and like my ass looks like two squirrels fighting in a wet paper bag. And I got this little thing like going on over here that I never had before. And I'm like, Katie, 
what are you doing, girl? You know what you're doing. Like, what? what follow your own damn rules, okay? So these are the 10 rules that I'm going to be following during my 28 days on H2AP. And as I film videos for this YouTube channel, I'm going to just keep like filling you in on what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to show you my before and after photos and my weekly photos, my, my measurements, my weights, my body fat. I'm also going to be showing you um, my blood work before I went on A28P. I'm going to be getting a DEXA scan. I have uh, extensive paperwork with my food allergies, with where my stress hormone cortisol is. I took a cortisol uh, test and I also took a Dutch test, which is a female hormone test. It's a urine test. The, the uh, cortisol test is a spit test. Um, and I also have extensive blood work that I did before I started this pro protocol. So I want to show you like where I was before and where I am at the end of the 28 days. And then I want to keep you going on this journey as I evolve and I grow and I get my SHIT back together and act like who I know I am, which is the HBIC of my precious magical human life. Okay. So here's my top 10 rules. The first rule of A28P Sounds like it's like Fight Club, but it's not. Okay, I promise. The first rule of H2AP is absolutely no alcohol for the 28 days. Like, I don't care if it's your quinceanera. I don't care if it is your golden retriever's third birthday. No, alcohol causes inflammation. And for me, the alcohol during the last three years has been an agent of numbing and escaping my fear and escaping like reality of everyday life in a global pandemic where, by the way, none of us had, uh, like, a rule book handed to us. Like, this is how to show up during a global pandemic. Like, no one told us anything. So I just kind of pulled it out of my ass. So no alcohol. And I don't know about you, but when I drink alcohol, it just makes me like, hmm, what delicious thing can I throw down my gullet even though I'm not hungry? So it's just not going to be serving me. The second rule is... To remember that this protocol, this 28 days, is about your healing. Not just healing on a physical level, which you will heal in so many ways. I've had women who have done A28P with me who have gotten off of metformin. They have gotten off of insulin. They have gotten off of thyroid medication. They've healed their bodies in so many ways. It's insane. So I know that it heals you physically. Um, they got rid of autoimmune disease, skin issues, all kinds of stuff, digestive issues, you name it. But I really want to hammer home that this is not just about physical healing. It's about mental healing, emotional healing, healing from trauma, healing from your childhood wounds. It's also about ancestral and epigenetic healing, which we're going to get a lot into. I think it's so interesting. I have so many women who work with me and do this protocol. And I also have where they're just like, oh my God, I never realized that something my grandmother said to me when I was four years old has stuck with me for 50 years. And I have thought it was true and it's not, you know, the third rule is Every day, seven days a week, you're just going to enjoy one hour of movement. Does that mean go to the gym and do CrossFit and kill yourself? No. That could mean walking on the treadmill, hiking, doing a Zumba class, doing a yoga class. Um, it could mean like vigorously cleaning your house and putting your, you know, Apple watch on and counting like how many steps you get and how your heart rate goes up when you're really going to town. It doesn't have to be working out. We don't use that word in ambitious. It's movement of the body. So it's daily body movement, whatever feels good to you. The fourth rule is every day you're going to take your supplements over on my ambitious app. I have a list of all the supplements that I take, but all you really need is a really great multivitamin. I use Garden of Life Women's once a day. It's organic. It's awesome. And then a really great refrigerated probiotic. I also use the woman's uh, Garden of Life Refrigerated Probiotic. Now, I take a lot of other supplements. Like I said, I talk about that over on the Ambitious app. Um, I will put the link to that app in the show notes here on YouTube. But other than that, like you don't need anything else, okay? Only if you want to. The fifth rule is every week starting from day one and then weekly and then at the end of your 28 days, you're going to take weekly pictures and measurements. And I have a, an awesome PDF on my app under the H2AP protocol part, portion of the app 
with printable PDFs of all your measurements, your body fat, your, your, your measurements of your body, your weight, so you can keep track of it. And then you're going to take photos front, side, back, and side in the same outfit, in the same spot in your house every week. Because I really desire deeply for people to see their changes. Because when you're living in your own body, you don't really get to see the changes as much as you would if you had these pictures that would show you know, your evolution and your transformation. And I also think it's very interesting to take a picture of your face because the women on this protocol, they actually, because it's such a low inflammatory meal plan, they get rid of all the inflammation and they actually like age in reverse. It's crazy. Like they like, it's like Benjamin a button. It's wild. Okay. Um, and I have tons of testimonial pictures that I'm going to link into um, these new videos that I'm going to be doing here on YouTube. And you can also look at those testimonial uh, videos and pictures on my Instagram. That's my only outside social media. And my Instagram handle is Katie Boyd Ambitious. And I have them saved in my story archives at the top of my um, Instagram. The sixth rule is you're going to follow a therapeutic low carb meal plan. I am taking all of the lectins and all the oxalates and anything that causes histamine reactions and anything that causes just inflammation away from your diet. I'm actually going to be a little bit more hardcore with my 28 day protocol and I'm going full carnivore. Um, carnivore just works for my blood type. I'm an O negative blood type. It just jives with my stomach. It jives with my body. When I'm eating um, really strict carnivore, I feel like a million bucks. Uh, what do I eat on that program? I eat beef, pork, all ruminant animals like goat and um, lamb. I eat all fish, shellfish, butter. I do have dairy because it does not bother me whatsoever. So I do have like really thick organic plain Greek yogurt, um, lots of delicious raw cheese uh, or everything is organic. Um, everything is grass fed, everything is wild caught, unless I go out to dinner or I'm traveling and like, I can't really say like, where did you get this meat? You know, that people are in another country and I'd be like, que? you know, like I'm Portuguese. So, uh, they're just going to look at you like, what do you mean? Where did I get the meat? The meat is all the same here. It's not like America. So I just focus on that. And every day I drink um, my water with electrolytes. And the only one vice that I will not give up, and I don't give a shit what people say, is coffee. I drink Life Boost coffee. It's like non-acid forming. It's organic. It's, low, it's uh, single sourced beans. And from all the coffees that I've ever had in my life, that's what I drink. And I drink the dark roast two cups a day. And yeah, easy peasy. And I'm not going to give it up. So don't pry my coffee from my cold, dead hands. Um, but I don't eat stevia. I don't do any of that kind of stuff. It's I'm doing this program myself, 100% carnivore. Okay. But on, on H2AP, just plain, it's uh, a low carb, very therapeutic meal plan. And again, all that is over on the ambitious app rule number seven. Okay. This is a hard one. Don't listen to the naysayers, the judgmental ding-dongs, and the fuck faces. And that also means you, if you're here watching this and you're going to like, you know, if you're like flicking your bean right now and you're eating Cheetos and you're like, this bitch is crazy. I'm going to talk shit about her and I'm going to call her names. I don't really care. I'm not going to listen to you. So don't even waste your little typey fingered energy. <laughs> I don't care. Honey, I've been in showbiz my whole life. I have been ripped apart by the best of them. Uh, I have been in pageants. I have been model. Mo I have modeled when I was younger. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. So nothing you say is going to bother me. Okay. So don't waste your time. But when you do do these types of things, what happens is you just attract these people who think that they're smarter than you or they like know like more than you or sometimes people just want to say what they want to say because they're pissed off at you because you're actually trying to better yourself. So if someone says to you like, oh my God, you need carbohydrates, you need this, you, why are you not drinking alcohol? Well, just have a little piece of cake, just have that coffee, have that, um, you know, frappuccino, eat that sugar, it's fun. It's like, dude, shut up because I'm trying to make my life better and I'm trying to change. 
The eighth rule is, because remember, this is not just about physical healing, this is about also healing from dop dopamine intoxication, is um, we all as a group, and I will be doing one full digital detox a week. That means no phone, no YouTube, no Instagram, no Facebook, no TikTok, no whatever the hell you crazy kids are into. Because our brains need time to shut down and not be like bing, 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 all day. It's just not healthy. The ninth rule is I'm going to drink a gallon of water a day. Um, I Like I said, I drink coffee. I drink unsweetened tea. I do love a Kavita. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it is allowed on my protocol. But the only Kavita that's allowed on my protocol is the lemon cayenne Kavita. It's a probiotic drink. It's super low in sugar. So I will allow myself to have one of those like maybe once or twice a week just for something different. But I drink a lot of lemon water. And then... Um, I drink electrolyte water uh, and I make my own electrolytes with Redmond real salt and um, potassium chloride powder and uh, baking soda. Okay. And then last but not least for 28 days, there are no cheat meals or treat meals or, you know, Oh, I was a good doobie this week. So I'm going to eat a big bunch of donuts. No, because you're not a dog. We're not rewarding ourselves with food. And what I desire deeply is for not only myself, but anyone that does the A2AP protocol with me is we break food addiction and we stop using food as reward and treats and a numbing agent and an escape agent. We're not doing that in A2AP. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next 28 days. I would love for you to come on this magic journey with me. I would love any kind of comments yeah, just, you know, cheering me on. Let's be really super positive here and loving and kind. I'm also here to answer any of your questions that you may have for me. And um, I'm just really looking forward to showing up in a very different way here on YouTube. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time. And I just kept saying to myself, like, oh, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And I just wasn't in a good headspace at the time um, to really do anything. And I feel really strong and powerful right now. So just to give you a little bit of background uh, before I go, I, when I got sick earlier uh, in 2022 and I had to go and do all these procedures, I just started really watching my food and I stopped drinking anyways. So that is not a problem for me. And since September of 2022, I have released uh, 20 pounds. And so my goal for the 28 days is to release at least another 20 pounds. I've had girls on my program, program that have lost 40 pounds in a month, 37 pounds in a month, 35 pounds in a month. So I, I know that I have to release probably 40 pounds to get to back to where I am, where I feel really healthy and comfortable physically. Like I can do all my working out. I have no weird like feelings in my body you know when you get fat and even you're like washing yourself and you're just like oh this is this feels different because i'm fat you know like i just really desire to feel the way i felt before the pandemic and so for me what's feasible and healthy is 20 pounds in 28 days that's my goal and like I said, I am going to be coming on here and I am going to be keeping you guys all in the loop of everything that's going on. But I wanted to just tell you guys what I was doing, get you on board as my cheerleaders and as my community. And I want to prove to you how amazing this program and this protocol is that I've created. And maybe it will inspire you to take control of your life, not just your physical life, but your, your spiritual life, your energetic life, your mental life, your emotional life. I want you to feel like you have control in all aspects of your life that you can control. And we can control what we do every day as far as like our exercise, our movement, what goes into our mouth, what we watch, what we consume, um, how we are showing up in the world, what if we know our purpose, if we have healthy relationships, if we have great spiritual connection with God or the universe or whatever you're into, um, whatever is, is divine and sacred in your life, everyone has the everyone has the will to have a really incredible life, and it's what I call ambitious. And I took the word bitch and I turned it from a derogatory word to the acronym being in total control of herself. 
So at the end of these 28 days, I want for myself to be the HBIC of my magical life. And I hope that it inspires each and every one of you to also do that. So thank you for listening to this. Thank you for watching this. And if you feel like this video will help somebody share it with them, you know, obviously like I'm not here to monetize anything. I'm really just here to be of service and value and, and, and have a community of ambitious women from all across the globe. So I'm looking so forward to what is next and what is to come. And I'm just excited and honored and grateful to go on this journey with you. And um, yeah, in the meantime, don't forget to stay ambitious. And I cannot wait to share my next leg of my ambitious journey with my A28P protocol. Bye guys.